Tree Troopers, I'm Nakota Staples of Staples Intense, and today I want to talk to you about me running for president as Camacho. No, today I want to talk to you all about the Go Zero um, 100 watt solar briefcase. So let's go ahead. We're going to do the unboxing. We haven't used this thing yet. We have no clue of what using solar panels even looks like. So this is gonna be an adventure for us and we're gonna share it with you. So it's gonna be an adventure for you all as well. Make sure you subscribe. So let's talk about a little bit about what's in the box. This is a 100 watt solar briefcase. So this thing folds kind of thing. It weighs about 25 pounds. Now I don't know you're trying to figure out what is 25 pounds? It's less than a case of beer. Now when you're messing around with it though, it does feel a little bit heavy. We're gonna open it up and go over some of the details associated with it. Styrofoam. Sonia says she'll clean this up. Wow, we get right into it, huh? All right, all right. I gotta move around a little bit here. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna move this box. Imagine if we have to ship it back, we're probably going to need that, so don't throw it away. Ooh. So as you can see, yeah, as you can see, this Go Zero comes with a um, vinyl, or excuse me, a briefcase protector. Um, this is made out of some kind of you know, cloth material. It's pretty nice, I agree. Quick little zippers, some YKKs. Let's break this bad boy out. Boom! This is honestly pretty nice. It's, it seems it's a little big. It's got some size to it. You know, as you can see, I'm a 250 pound man. And, you know, whatever the dimensions are, we'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. Uh, there are two latches. Here's the carry hander, it's rubber. I can tell you, it doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. And we'll open it on the inside first so that you can have an idea of what it looks like. Um, these two panels are connected via this cable, probably putting it in series. Um, so we'll probably have a 50 watt and a 50 watt connected together, giving you a total of 100 watts. There is this proprietary cable uh, that gives you the ability, if you have other Gold Zero products, to plug directly into it, uh, making it really easy. But there's some, they have a bunch of adapters. So if you got a, some other type of technology that you want to plug it into, some other type of battery, uh, or if you want to plug it into your car battery, whatever it is that you're trying to do, there are some different adapters out there that you can get. Uh, right now, we're just going to be using it with our Yeti 400, um, which is also a Gold Zero product. But the overall goal is for this to be able to power our Yeti 400. And if I remember correctly, this should be able to do it in about uh, four to seven hours of good sunlight. Uh, also off of the back of here, you have these, which gives you a 45 degree angle. If they have these hinges right here, these boys look heavy duty. The Go Zero Boulder 100 is Two 50 watt panels combined on the back, as we discussed earlier. Um, this will give you an output of 18 to 22 volts. Um, these panels themselves are monocrystalline. Um, it feels pretty good. I mean, the two kickstands are separate, and I'm gonna try to show you what that looks like. Boom. So these will go up to a 45 degree angle to help you maximize. Uh, you can also mount these to the roof of um, vehicles if you want. We decided to bring the Boulder 100 briefcase up on the roof to see if it was gonna work. Downstairs, we got a lot of tent, there's a lot of shadow. So uh, we felt like up here, we got maximum sunlight. It's March 2020 in the south. So we feel like it's probably gonna work up here. So let's plug this thing into our Yeti. Uh, 400 lithium ion and see what we get. And I don't know if you guys can 
can see it, but the blue light has illuminated to let you know that you have power. So right now we're getting, um, looks like around 41 watts of power. Imagine it's pretty good. These are capable of 100 watts combined. It's going up 56 watts. So I would imagine the longer we stayed out here, the more power would be delivered from this solar panel out to the Yeti 400. So right there, it looks like we're gonna get right under 60 watts uh, of charge. So this might take about eight to 10 hours if we were gonna leave this up on the roof to charge. But it would charge. So there you go, y'all. The Boulder 100 briefcase powering up the Yeti 400 lithium ion. Keep it intense as you move into 2020. We hope that you guys enjoy these videos and if you do, make sure you subscribe. Send it to a friend and tell them to subscribe. Um, we love y'all.